Well then, Bunny. Yes. It's time for a new reoccurring segment here on the Pope on Film Podcast. I call Podcasting is real and fun. <laughs> okay. Because, hey, when you're a podcaster, you don't just float around wearing diapers and eating grapes. No. Well, sometimes, actually. Yeah. If, I, if I'm this is a, Yeah. This is a new, uh, vaguely reoccurring segment where I share the best and most batshit insane parts of the totally real print-on-demand Christian book, Heaven is Real and Fun, by regular heaven visitor and possible Jesus shipper, <laughs> uh, Robinson. This book was one of our Crazy Christian Book Club picks. In fact, it was our last Crazy Christian Book Club pick. And it and was an awesome pick. Yeah, I don't think it's an exaggeration. Incredibly understanding wife when I had the other person. Yeah. I don't think it's an exaggeration when I say um, reading a few select passages from Heaven is Real and Fun a few months ago was a goddamn laugh riot. Yes, it was. This is a wonderful book. So Jesus is gel balls. Yeah. Jesus. So let's 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 sum up this book. This is an actual book written by a woman named Kim Robinson, who allegedly since 1988 has been regularly traveling to heaven with Jesus and God, who she creepily refers to as daddy. Yes. This woman honestly, legitimately believes that God plucks her from earth and takes her to heaven so that she can play and have fun and cuddle and engage in a bunch of sexual tension. <laughs> ridiculous amount of se sexual attention going on in this book. So, um, so if you'd like to learn more about this book, go to heavenisfun.com or check out the Heaven is Real and Fun YouTube page where the author reads excerpts from the book. I, My, I have visited. It, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. My wife bought me a hard uh, copy, an actual book an actual copy of the book for Christmas, which was a dual gift because not only did she buy me the book that I wanted, but also another type of gift is that my wife was kind of forced to buy me this horrible book. <laughs> dual gift in a sense. Very welcome. Yeah. Thank you, honey. My plan was to read the book from cover to cover, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take on. It's going to take on account of there being so much I want to share with this podcast. I, uh, I, what about a page a week? I think we should go through the book cover by cover. I, okay. That, that's, that's a good plan. Today, I'm going to read two passages from the book. The first is from the beginning. I read the first paragraph and said, well, damn it, I need to talk about this on the podcast. And the second is around the middle, and I accidentally stumbled upon it a few days ago as an accident. I was just flipping through the book, and I swear to God, uh, this passage I'm calling Fifty Shades of Christ. <laughs> I swear to God, this. I swear to God, this is a sex scene. So I've got the book here. Heaven is Real and Fun by Kim Robinson. So, uh, chapter one Playing with Jesus. Uh huh. The first part is it has a title and it says roller coaster so here's the beginning of the book i was worshiping when i heard jesus say come here and stand up so you can see <laughs> I... thank you eleanor for backing me up there i saw a hand with a white sleeve reach down to me i reached up and instantly i was standing at an amusement park with games rides and animals Okay. I saw Jesus and we hugged. He took me by the hand and as we walked around, I could feel the excitement in the air. Yeah. The park was clean and laughter filled the air. There's a lot of air, apparently. Air is the, the takeaway here. Air. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were lots of games to play and prizes to be won. 
People and families were walking together, carrying very large stuffed toys, laughing and holding hands. Everything was free because Jesus had paid the price. Oh. Oh. Okay. So so that's the first that's the first paragraph of the book. And I'm immediately going with that that takes a lot of the fun out of the amusement park. So I'm thinking Jesus might be kind of a spoil sport here. I mean, if you if you don't if you don't pay for it and win it yourself, what's the point? That's a good that's a good point. Yeah. But I I think there's there's a there's a larger issue here that that people aren't talking about in society. So I think it, it's important. It's important to bring this up. Okay. Heaven has carnies. <laughs> because if there are yeah. rides and games and people are walking around with like stuffed animals that they won, that means that there are games. That means that there are people running these games. Heaven has carnies. Mm -hmm. Now imagine that you're an angel that was just created. Yes. Okay. So you're an angel and you're like, I, I, I am an angel. I have been cr created by, by you, Lord. Oh, 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 what, what have you, cre what have you made me for? Will I be one of your, uh, uh heavenly angels in heaven, uh, praising you and singing songs. And God goes, not necessarily. <laughs> kind of got something different planned for you. Oh, well then, will I be one of your messengers going down to earth and spreading your word and appearing to people in visions? And it's like, well, actually, I need you to run this churro stand <laughs> for eternity. Mm -hmm. If you could do that for me, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Maybe heaven, maybe heavenly carnies are like the good carnies who died. But then, what constitute a, what what constitutes a good carny? Huh? Did you rape the least? <laughs> I mean, these that's, are carnies. That's, We're talking about yeah. There aren't any. If you're a carny, then automatically you're not a saint. <laughs> you know, there were a lot of bad decisions that led you to become a carny. Yes. So, so heaven has carnies. That's just the first paragraph of this book. I have like a hundred and sixty pages more to go. So this is going to take me a long time to get through it, is what I'm saying. But it'll be worth it. Yeah, it'll be worth it. So the other day, I, I saw the book in my bag, and I just flipped through it, and I found an, two paragraphs. And I swear to God, it's Fifty Shades of Christ. <laughs> so I'm going to be reading this passage to you now, so get comfy. Okay? Okay. Now, this... This passage is entitled Gondola Boat Ride with Jesus. All right. I okay. didn't know he was a fan, but hey, you know. Gondola Boat Ride with Jesus. I was praying, and instantly, Jesus and I were in a gondola boat. You know, it, it happens. Mm hmm. You're just praying. Next thing you know, you're riding a gondola boat with Christ. It just happens. That's why so many churches have flooded. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He put large white gardenias around my neck and began to sing to me. He sang about how I was his number one and his first choice. Oh, nice. The rest of us are scum. Thank you, Jesus. I felt incredibly loved, wanted, and accepted, looking into his beautiful eyes and feeling his tender touch. <laughs> Jesus paddled and steered the gondola boat. He said, and again, this is a quote from Jesus, okay? Yeah. 
it's important. It's important to reiterate that at this point. So Jesus is paddling and steering a gondola boat while singing uh, a song to his number one first choice and apparently giving a tender touch. So Jesus says, quote, relax and enjoy the ride. (laughs) Remember, I am the one paddling and I am the one steering. So you don't have to push your way through. I have I have great plans for you and this is the beginning. Therefore, you can lie back and enjoy the ride. Mm. I am in control. How much does he know about gondola steering? He laughed and kept slowly paddling. So yeah, he's Jesus, so he probably went to gondola school. That was really big in Jerusalem back in that day. Yeah. So basically, to sum up, um, Kim Robinson definitely has a deity fetish. Yes. We I think should, without a doubt. We need to turn this into a series. We should start writing a, a, a bunch of different titles, turn it into a legitimate genre. Heaven is real and fun. Krishna is a tender lover. (laughs) And my favorite in the series, Buddha loves bondage. (laughs) Our new series of uh, deity fetish novels. Yeah. Just this quote, this quote from Jesus, just basically imagine... A businessman saying that in any romance novel. <laughs> you know, saying yeah. it to his secretary. Lie back and enjoy the ride. I am in control, he said as he kept slowly paddling. <laughs> this woman wants to have sex with Jesus. I was going to say, it sounds a little like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, doesn't it? Yeah, Fifty Shades of Christ. That's basically what this yeah. book is. So that is it for this installment of Podcasting is Real and Fun. There will definitely be more installments as I try to read through this bad shit, crazy, wonderful book. (laughs) And this isn't something I say about Christian books, but oh my God, this book is hilarious. You need to buy this. Yeah. Everyone needs their own copy of Heaven is Real and Fun. This is the greatest book in the history of mankind. (laughs) You should be reading this. Heaven is Real and Fun. Subtitle. You don't float around wearing diapers and eating grapes. And that sucks because i that's what I – I was hoping all of heaven would just be floating around wearing diapers and eating grapes. But now my plans have been ruined. Thanks, Kim. Yeah. Kim fucked it up for all of us. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And cut on that. <laughs>